This is a scene from Moscow Exhibition, where the gun of Leopard 2A6 tank is being lowered, and why it is required. To show the public about the tank defeat, and the elevated gun means a tank is victorious. While finding no controls or how to lower the main gun from the turret, Russian decided to mechanically lower the gun using external weight from the crane, and in doing so, they might have broken the superior and important function of Leopard tank, the electrical gun stabilization system, including gun stopper. In the video, breaking and cracking sounds can be heard while the weight is being applied. If the electronics of the stabilizer are stolen or burned inside the tank, at least the mechanics of the system can be learned, but breaking the gun stabilization system with weight makes no sense at all. Leopard 2 tank gun is not controlled mechanically or through drivetrain. The gun is controlled and stabilized electrically. Although D90M is also equipped with gyroscopic two-plane stabilizer, but it is still inferior to Leopard 2A6 system, where the gun is stabilized via two servo mechanisms, one for elevation and one for the turret rotation. For long-range engagement Russian tanks relied on guided missiles from their main guns, and which are more accurate and potent to hit target at 5 km range. But Western tanks like Leopard, Leclerc have advanced fire control system, they can accurately hit tanks at long range with their non-guided projectiles. The reason why Leopard tank gun was raised is that after firing the round, the gun decouples from the fire control system and lowers the breech of the gun making it easier, a bit quicker and less fatiguing to reload the gun. It can be seen from the video that same Leopard tank is not burned or damaged much from the inside. Since German tank engineering is ahead of Russia, they should benefit from the Leopard tank in terms of mobility, fire control system, or whatever advanced technology they may obtain.